we don't just do communion for the sake of like, oh, it's a cracker. Oh, it's a piece of bread. And this is symbolic of Jesus' body that he gave. And oh, this is a cup. And this is symbolic of the blood that he shed. Like, no, it's much deeper. It's at a spiritual level, at a heart level, that we really got to make sure we are we are ready because what we're doing is we're recognizing that Jesus did this for us. And I'm remembering that he has done this for us. So my heart has to be in the right place to receive again, like what he has done for us. And it's not that you have to receive over and over and over like salvation or anything. It's just that you are actively remembering. And when you remember something, there is supposed to be um, a, a change. There's supposed to be a basically a reflection inwardly of what you are remembering. Otherwise, what's the sake of remembering? If I'm remembering a loved one, what's the point of remembering a loved one if I'm going to tarnish their name type of thing? If I'm remembering something good, it is it is to change the action or to improve. So if I'm going to remember Jesus' death on the cross, it is to improve my behavior Therefore, it needs to be a, a heart. This is 1 Corinthians 11, verses 27 through 28. So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking the cup. This is a stern warning for people. This is um, what people need to be reminded of. When we take communion, it is not to be done lightly, okay? And most people aren't really taught about communion. This is a time when you are reminding yourself of what Jesus Christ has done, what he has given for us. And so you don't do it half-heartedly. You don't do it with like sin on the mind. You don't do it with a heart that's, that's not, not right. If you have like, if the Bible even says in Matthew, if you have like all against your brother, that means if you have something against someone, like let's say you got into a spat with somebody and like that's something that's on your mind back and forth about, you feel angry about, you need to go and reconcile with him before you come to the altar type of thing. So the reflection says, stop just being a creature of habit because it's tradition meaning communion. Know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Communion is a way to honor Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. So make sure your heart is right before you do it. And that is your advice for today on this meditation moment. I hope you are being blessed. Have a great Thanksgiving and see you all next week.